where we are going to start the next chapter that is substances in common weight. Up till now we have studied various substances and as we have also studied that the substances that we use in our daily life, day to day life, are basically classified into various types. Okay? That means in our day to day life we use various substances. These substances Sometimes they are acidic, sometimes they are bases, sometimes they are metals, sometimes they are non-metals, sometimes they are they may be salts also. Okay? So this was all about the substances that we use in our day to day life. We can classify these these substances into different categories. And in this chapter we are going to focus on these different types of substances. We will start our chapter by discussing important salts in our daily life. As we all know, an acid is a substance which consists of H plus ions in its aqueous solution. A base is a substance which consists of OH minus ions in its aqueous solution. Okay? So this was all about acids and bases. But if we talk about salts, then salts are nothing but combinations of acids and bases. When acids and bases react with each other, then they combine to form salts. Okay? So this was all about salt. Salts are formed with the combination of acids and bases. There are some important salts in our day-to-day -day life. Okay? So out of these salts, in today's video, we are going to study some salts. Now, before studying these salts, we will quickly weigh some of the acids that we use in our day to day life. For example, the acid which is found in lemon, the acid which is found in um, curd. Okay, so these are the acids which are found in the substances which we daily consume, that is curd and lemon. Similarly, we use bases also. We use baking soda, we use washing soda also in our day to day life. So these substances are nothing but bases. And we also use some salts in our day to day life such as NaCl. Okay? So important salts in daily life. The ionic compounds which contains only one kind of cation and anion are called as simple salts. The ionic compounds which contain only one kind of cations and anions are called as simple salts. As an example, I need to ask you. need to example. I need to ask you. Some example. Salts. जो कि एक अपने कर्ज़ अपने तक उपाय है, आयनिक कंपोन। ओके। ये लोग आपने सेपरेट किया था। आपने लेके क्या नाम है? आपने लेके आना है। Similarly, the inorganic substances occur naturally in the form of salts rather than acids or bases. अब हम बाहर बोलते हैं organic and inorganic substances. Substances are such that classification is. Organic substances are the substances which are derived from living animals or plants. And inorganic substances are such that organic substances such that na apna living animals, plants, ki human being ko sun derived karte hain. So ki nature mein bhi kya form hai? Minerals cha form hai dia sushi. Okay? Rocks. Apna bhai bolte hain rocks and minerals. Yeh cha kuch mein aare. Gorex. Substances and upon inorganic substances. Okay? These inorganic substances occur naturally in the form of salts rather than acids or bases. Near about 80 million tons of salt is added to sea water every year. There were she, Samudra Chapanya, 80 million tons of salt. She burned for the rest. In the particular shala, Samudra, sea water, all over the world, earth's a majority portion. सी वॉटर में कवर जा गया है और यह सी वॉटर ला आजून सॉल्टी टेबल में से काम ये चीज सैली मिट वाटर में से काम 80 मिलियन टन्स ऑफ सॉल्ट ऐड दर वर्षी के लिए हम लोग वाटर का सॉल्ट लेंगे ये चीज सैली मिट वाटर को जाना ये आजून उस खारे को जाना दूसरे दूस ओके अब दूसरे दूस के चक जिके सॉल्ट � नहीं जब मार कुछ होगा, समुद्र से पानी से सेलिंग करेंगे वाटर से, आर्वर्ड ना, नीलू वाटर से, 
and by observing the color with the help of universal indicators. We can determine the pH values. Along with that, we can also determine the nature of that substance that we use in our day-to-day. -day.